All right. Welcome to the Helping Homes Find Their People podcast with the Gluzo team, where we talk about all things real estate on Long Island, New York. I'm here with the juggernauts, Chris and Elena Galuzzo. <laughs> and I'm Christo. So we have had a crazy week. Crazy. It's been a very busy time. And uh, we just wanted to g give you guys an update on what we've been up to and how the market really has been going on for the past week. It is May 8th, or is it May 9th today? Today's the 9th. It is the 9th today, 2023. Your birthday is in two days. My May birthday 11. is in two days. I'm turning uh, 27. <laughs> Isn't that funny how you have to lie even in your 30s? What is that? I'm 31. <laughs> turning what 31 in two we days. We all want to be 27. <laughs> 27 was a good day. A good year for me. I don't know. When it's you turn 27, year. everyone, you, you start filling in. <laughs> know what you want to do. Uh, I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah, it's a good year. 31. You're a full-fledged adult. If uh, this week says anything, I'm definitely getting tired. <laughs> well, no. After this week, it was it's an exhausting week. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. That's why. But we've got a lot of good news. We listed a $5.5 million house yesterday. It's a beautiful home. Gorgeous basement with a movie theater, a full bar, a lounge area has a pool table, awesome wine cellar. 10,000 square feet of gorgeous. Full gym in the basement, beautiful oh, yard. Oh yeah, full gym, I forgot that. It's actually a mansion though, we're talking. Yes. It's got the whole drive up through the cherry blossom trees, circular driveway, massive ceilings, gorgeous doorways. Spectacular, in old Brookville. So that's where we're heading. So keep an eye out. Go on galuzoteam.com to check out the latest featured home. Well, by the time this gets out, it'll be up two weeks. for about two Hopefully weeks. Hopefully sold. Gone. Then we'll Too come late. back next we'll come back next week and you'll find out in another three weeks or so uh the good news. Yes. And then we just listed a seven hundred and thirty nine thousand dollar home in Comac. Two minutes ago. So that's wonderful also. We have a lot going on. Yes, yes, yes. And then our Fixer Upper in Dix Hills went for a pretty penny. We had a over ask eight hundred and sixty nine thousand dollar Fixer Upper Colonial, very nice on a, over a half acre, and we thought that was a high number, and we ended up selling it for nine fifteen, and it has to be gut renovated. So the numbers are going up still. We're still seeing like. Bidding wars and lines out the door and COVID prices. So it's And agents exciting. aren't keeping up with the pricing. We had an agent yesterday that we put a bid in for one of our clients who underpriced the house they listed in Huntington area by over $150,000. Yeah. So if you miss the boat that bad, you really re have to reevaluate your pricing yeah, structure. Yeah, 619 list price, and the home is going for almost 755. We put in an offer in. Yeah, it was all cash. <laughs> all cash, 755 for a 619 list. That's crazy. When you're pricing in this market and you're a seller, you have to understand your market. If you're doing listings, you have to give your expertise to your seller, and to underprice it by almost two hundred thousand dollars is not really being an expert realtor and you have to understand the marketplace that you're in right now and we do i even told them it's gonna it's gonna go it's gonna go very high right and then we we listed one recently that needed the gut rehab too in dix hills and it's a five thousand square foot home that needed to be totally gut rehabbed and we sold that for a million one so the market is still doing fantastic and thankfully, the Galuzos have a few new listings coming. The because, listings are definitely coming in slow, but they're coming in steady. Yeah, inventory is uh, at an all-time low right now. And we do, and we're fortunate that we're getting some new listings. So we're looking for listings. If anybody knows somebody looking to sell something on Long Island, please reach out to us. 631-774-3333. We get them there sold. You go. <laughs> Helping homes find their people. <clears throat> That's right. So even when it comes to buyers, like we were talking about, it's uh, definitely a betting war. Yes. At the moment. For the houses, at least, that are for like that special, that have that special 
Yes, a nice house is going to be bit up crazy. Even if they, they let's say they, they were listing for pretty high at, at, in general, they're going to have people Even if they the were pr listed correctly, if it's they're, a nice yeah. house, you're going to get those two or three people that want it. And that's going to make it even more. It's just, it's incredible. Commercial market is doing very well. We were out in Montauk last night and we had a really fantastic time going to watch a band play at Talk. So we watched them, but we were talking about real estate transactions in Montauk and they sold so many great institutions out there. Rick's Krabby Cap, Crab Shack uh, for $12 million. They sold what was Gurney's Yacht Club for $62 million. They sold the sale in for $4.2 million. They sold uh, Liars Saloon, which was really the fisherman's uh, hangout. It was an amazing place to go there and you'd meet real fishermen that have been doing that industry for 50, 60 years. Some of them had no fingers and no ears because the fishing lines would rip their ears off and fingers they would lose from fishing lines. It was really an amazing time to hang out with these men. They have nowhere to go now. That place was just sold too. So Montauk is changing, Long Island's changing. All these old institutions are going out of business like the Bordy Barn. So it's a good time to also reach out to the Gluzo team for the commercial industry that you're in too. We're selling a collision shop right now, I'm still working on. So we have the ability to do other transactions besides residential real estate. And liars, I was gonna say, uh, you almost got a splinter on the foosball table by then. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, that place was pretty fun. Dollar beers. <coughs> I think the new owner's coming in with a dollar beers again. I mean, you have to keep up. it. Yeah, yeah. You got to keep it local. Got to keep it Montauk-ish. Just renovate the building. You're good. People will come. Uh, Montauk is now, now the summer's here. Everyone's going to be going out to Montauk again. The Hamptons is going to be Booming. the place to be. So everyone's got to get ready for that. East and Hamptons stores are, are already bopping. We passed by and it was the streets were, it was a beautiful day today and there were people out. And I feel like during the winter, like even February, March, staying people open were going now. out there. Yeah, yeah, it's staying open. A lot of how, a lot of places are staying open year round now, and a lot of our friends are even moving out there for the whole year. They're calling it home, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We we love it out there. The nice thing about our firm working for Compass is we can refer nationally. We have referred a Manhattan client recently and we've referred a Miami client. So it's nice and we've received some clients back from across the nation. So if anybody's out there that needs some areas of Florida, North Carolina, Tennessee, where many of our Long Islanders are moving to, you could refer us to clients. We would love that and we can represent them through our company and uh, utilize our expert agents across the country. So it's a very interesting concept for us. Soon international. Soon international, that's true. Actually, That'll be our station. We'll go to Italy and handle that part of the world. Well, somebody did just now on our site, somebody referred somebody in Lake Como. They had a really top level agent that handles Lake Como and they referred the agent and they're closing a deal already for oh, like wow. uh, $2 million. That's so fun. It's interesting. We're fortunate we just did a deal recently uh, with a Long Island based agent that doesn't really leave their community. And they referred us uh, three clients, Smithtown, Dix Hills, and Northport. And, and, so, and then they ended up uh, buying in St. James. Right. So we were very fortunate to get that. And we gave them back. We gave yeah, them- Yeah, we were uh, able to give them two buyers for their area, which was Garden City. So it's been a nice run that we've had. Yeah, it's been a little busy for us, but we've been liking it. We've worked with more buyers this year than any year that I can think of. It's just a plethora of them. And we're winning bids where we're getting them houses, considering how many bidders we're up against every single time. We're getting them the houses. We didn't get yesterday's. But we will get we we have gotten a lot. I've been seeing um, gotten a lot. escalation clauses. A lot yes, lately as well. The, the escalation clause. Well, some, someone tried doing that on our listing not too long ago, and they were they basically were bluffing. And then once an offer came in higher and pushing them up from what they they were originally uh, offering, they ended up backing backing out. out. Oh, that's right. That was the house in Kings Park, and so. it was only five grand yep. higher, and they still backed out. Well, the good news is we sold that house because we we represented the seller. So yes. that was fantastic. We have new listing coming in Deer Park. 
Uh, where are new listings coming? So we have Old Brookville, Deer Park, Smithtown, Smithtown, Comac. Um, Smithtown's a big one. We have one, a new one coming in Dix Hills. Um, so we're actively pursuing new listings. We should be getting one in Patch Hog coming, hopefully soon. And we're actively uh, pursuing any kind of listing opportunity that we can get. We have buyers that we're looking for in Lindenhurst, Smithtown, Patch, Patch Hog, Hog, Holbrook, Holbrook, Blue Point, yeah. Bayville, Bayville, St. James, Smithtown. Again, we have Pop a lot Hog, of buyers. Northport, yeah, Huntington. Yeah, if They're any everywhere. realtors have any off-market deals they want to let the Galuzzo team go look at, let us know. We're, we're glad to bring our buyers by. Anytime. I'm anytime. just anytime. looking forward to the summer coming and all the street fairs coming opening and get going to the little towns. Sayville, speaking of Sayville, we, they, they have a beautiful town to walk through and they always have fairs and Bayshore and Huntington Village. Yeah, I was there the, not too long ago and... Um, it was really, really fun. Yeah, it's like... Brought the dog. Yep. That All the vendors were out. Beautiful day. <clears throat> Ice cream, pizza, everything. Coffee. Yeah, they're going to have another... They're going to have a lot of things going on in Huntington Village coming up. Um, I know the book review, the old book book review, they book opened review. up a new... Uh, they, that one closed, and one of the girls who worked there opened up the next chapter in Huntington Village. And they're having a lot of events. So I'm going to definitely go to that. I'm excited. I haven't been there yet. The new bookstore, yeah, I love bookstores. Well, you have My a book. Thing. You have a book to share I with us anyway. I do have a book, but you know what? This is, a, this is a book that, it's called The Gifts of Imperfection. That's our read for the month. So we joined this 6 a.m.ers club at Compass. So we literally get up at 6 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we do a Zoom call with about, I don't know, three to 400 people. At the minimum. And they have speakers every time, and it's just amazing. But we have a book of the month club, basically. And well, this, this is, is by Brene Brown, and she actually spoke on our Zoom Yes, calls. she was on one of the Zoom calls. And, and that day we had over 1,000 people on that call. When there's an the author country. or somebody really popular, we will get more people on the call. So this is our read of the month. I will read it and I will let you know how it is next week. Do you know the basic outline of what it's about? It's basically it saying that don't pigeonhole who you think you are. You know, when you're doing something, if something goes wrong, let that happen because it's going to lead you to something else. You have to just grasp imperfection. Because when you are doing something and you're trying to be perfect and something goes wrong, that's really just a way of faith telling you you're going in the wrong direction. So scooch in a different way and then things will start to work out again. Because we all have an idea of what we think we should do or should say or how things should go. And when they don't go that way, we're disappointed and we're thinking that it's, things have gone wrong. When they're actually going in the right direction. We're just, we just have to listen a little bit and veer toward the imperfection, accept the imperfection, and we'll see why it's there once we're calm with it. And then it'll show us a new, the direction that we're going is correct, just needed to go down the different road. Comment what your imperfections are and what you, how you're working through it. That would definitely help. Yeah, and it's it's a lot. It's 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 um yeah, basically embracing who you are, but accepting that your imperfections are 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 leading you to who you should be or want to be, and can be. It's complicated, but you got to read the book. So go embrace yourself and take risks <laughs> and go out there and be uncomfortable. And That's then it. you'll see the imperfection. Being uncomfortable. And next week we can talk about Like being our, in a podcast. Next week we can talk about our gala that we're going to tomorrow night. We're going to the Gift of Life Gala at Rotary. So we're part of Rotary in part Kings Rotary. Park, Comac Rotary, which is a great institution. It's over 140 years old, 130 years old. And it's a very big charity event. Um, they help young men and women around the world repairing uh, what many don't even know they have until it happens to them they have a hole in their heart and most countries don't know how to fix that so this 
gift of life, goes around the world and fixes hearts um, and teaches doctors how to do that. So we're actually having a, a young, I think a young lady who's getting her heart fixed right now and she's staying in our community in various Rotary members' houses. So tomorrow night we're gonna have a gala. We're wearing a tuxedo and a gown and we'll tell you about it next week. Yeah, that's a great event and very powerful when you do go. And they, they help so many people. Yeah, yep. and hundreds. Hundreds of thousands. Thousands. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. an amazing event. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the biggest charities in the world. And Rotary's also um, took a vow in 1970s, I believe, or 80s, to get rid of polio. Polio is one of the biggest issues around the world. They've taken care of that, you know, so they eradicated polio from almost every country. There's only two countries left, Afghanistan and Pakistan, that have any polio. And occasionally you'll see one or two around the world, including America. We had a polio victim here in, uh, I think, somewhere upstate New York. But for the most part, polio was a really terrible disease that uh, took over the world in the 1900s. And we've pretty much eradicated it through Rotary and their amazing charitable givings. So it's an amazing opportunity to join us if you ever want to come. And uh, it's about giving back to the community and giving selflessly. So, interesting. Yeah, Rotary is international, so you can go find your local Rotary. Right, we're in and join them. to Kings Park, but they're all over. All right, that was the Galuzzo Team Podcast, helping homes find their people with Chris, Elena, and Christo. Thank you guys for tuning in, and like, subscribe, and follow us for any updates and to get updates on our future episodes. Thank you for listening.